right, and here is video 16. Uh, we're going to be talking about retargeting and what this step is about, what you need to be uh, taking into account in order to make this a success as well. Retargeting is a crucial step within the Tea Profits recipe, so follow along, watch this video, and learn from this, and most importantly, apply it. So the first thing is we're going to create a retargeting image page post ad, okay? It's going to be the same image uh, of the tea that we've been marketing from the beginning, uh, in this case yours, and of course uh, it's going to be the one you chose, and uh, it's coming on the, from the same page, it's going to be on the same page and everything. But in this case, we're going to use that t-shirt front as I showed you in previous videos, we're going to add the background as well, the background color. Now, we're going to make the background color either the same one or a different one. It doesn't matter. If you do a different color, it stands out even more in the newsfeed of the people we are retargeting and it will catch their attention faster, which is exactly what we are looking after. Okay, We want to catch their attention and push them over the edge with this retargeting ad okay so right here we see the retargeting ad is okay has the t-shirt but then has a stamp final notice stamp or final notice font on here that says last chance and we have all those different icons and different type of fonts that you can use uh, included in the templates uh, that you I don't know if you chose to get it if you didn't make sure you do uh, we have all the templates for the ads we have templates for the last chance ads and we have templates for the uh, uh, retargeting ads and we have templates for the uh, contest ads I've been talking about in the videos okay so every single ad we use we have templates with different icons and everything in different ways that you can choose off and choose the one that you like the best so if you haven't grabbed that make sure you do now I like to keep it pretty simple I like to keep this one a final notice and I also sometimes add to the different options and styles down below in small like here's the green t-shirt here's the that t-shirt with the same stuff so that people see uh, that there is another option okay why so because we're gonna be targeting the people that landed on the fan on the uh, t-shirt uh, sales page but didn't buy okay so those people that didn't buy either because they need to be pushed over the edge either because they got distracted or either because they need a little other motivation to buy and that might be another color and another style or something and that's why you might want to add those in here okay uh, right below here like kind of a slideshow of all the different options they have as well plus the final notice which is crucial this really pushes people over the edge so once we have that we're gonna go into the power editor okay we're gonna create these ads on the power editor instead of the ad uh, instead of posting this directly to the page we're gonna do it through the power editor why because we don't want to clutter up the fan page with last chance uh, posts we just want to have on our pages the post of the of the t-shirts we're running and that's it so to really kind of showcase just the t-shirts and and keep it organized kind of like a all the t's that you've run through your fan page you want them to show up uh, correctly in your fan page and not have it full of last chance ads everywhere which look very salesy uh, and that's why uh, and which don't don't inspire trust for people that land on your fan page and the, if they see that okay so you want to do this unpublished you do want to do an unpublished image page post that how you do this is by going up here in the power editor is facebook.com forward slash ads forward slash manage forward slash power editor up here you have manage pages and your account and then manage account groups you're going to go and manage pages and select the fan page you run, you want to run your ad on and you can create you you're going to create the post a post right here which is going to be an unpublished post okay so right here as you can see i created one already and it says did you buy yours yet this is the final notice to do so to buy yours go here and the link that's it i don't want to do any i don't want more okay i don't want 
like here, put woman style and other color, colors available too, because we're targeting people that already read our ad, clicked through, landed on the fa on the sales page of the T-shirt, but didn't buy. That's why we, when we set up the custom web, the website custom audience, we set it up so that it it adds to that audience the people that land on the page that were when the pixel fires landed on the fa on the sales page, but. Uh, not the people that did buy already. We don't want to target people that already bought because we don't want to spend money on people that already bought and put them another last chance ad in front of them when they're actually already buyers. Okay, so we just want to target the people who haven't bought but already checked out the page. And this is why it's going to be a very simple ad straight to the point like this. Did you buy yours yet? This is the last chance to do so or this is the final notice to do so to buy yours go here and then the pretty link again you want to be in control of your traffic here as well now this is and you do it by just clicking on create post then you click on photo select the image put the text and select this this post will only be used as an ad if you were to do this it's going to post it to the fan page publicly right here we do a non-published post you click create post and it creates it right away then you go back to your account group and right there you're gonna click on campaigns and you're gonna go up here and search for the name of your campaign it's gonna show up like this right away when you type in the specific keywords for that campaign and that's why I always tell you to name them properly when you go in here you are gonna click on it click on it like this and then you're gonna click on here and view assets okay view assets once you do view ad sets, you're going to have your two main, your your niches right here. As I said, you all your ad sets are going to named after the niches you're going after with that specific scalable concept. And uh, in here, you're going to create the retargeting uh, ad, as I already did right here. But I'm going to show you uh, again. Uh, I'm going to show do it again just to show you. The only thing you're going to do is you're going to click on the one you want it retarget for let's say I want to surfing as already has a good audience already uh, that uh, was built on that website custom audience so you want to start retargeting when you have at least 200 people there so go and uh, click on this one and you're gonna click after you so we are on the ad set and we're gonna click on view ad sets okay no view ads I mean then inside there you're gonna have the ad that is within the ad set and you're going to click on duplicate it's going to ask you where what campaign to add it in of course we want it in the same campaign but we want to create a new ad set and here is going to be surfer retargeting okay i'm going to call it like that are you going to create it and that is already now inside the retargeting ad set right here you see this one is not uploaded and it's selected and it's inside the ad set name surfer retargeting so you're gonna click on it so that it's selected and now we can modify it what we're gonna do is we're gonna add name the ad uh, retargeting ad for surfers okay for surfer uh, in this case it was the surfer one like this uh, then it's gonna be on the same page it's gonna take all the same add data from the ad we duplicated it from so it's gonna take the interest it's gonna take everything from here we're gonna choose the one we just created uh, on the fan page unpublished it says unpublished right here good then you're gonna change the URL tag to retargeting we wanna make sure that we know what sales are coming from our retargeting ad and that's why we put this variable over here as I've been teaching you in all the videos the pixel conversion pixel is gonna be the same one it's already added because we just duplicated the ad okay and then from here the only thing you gotta do yeah uh, the only last thing you gotta do is just select on your custom audiences you're gonna type in the uh, custom audience that we set up for this specific a campaign that we uh, for this specific T campaign you know, remember that each each of the t-shirt campaigns has its own website custom audience for retargeting and if not then go back to that uh, video where we created 
where we set up the uh, t-shirt campaign and the conversion pixel and the retargeting pixel and everything so you're gonna select that custom audience and it's gonna be all the same you're gonna leave the uh, you're gonna leave the then you're gonna take away the uh, interests that were selected because we're not gonna add we don't want to target interest we want to target the custom audience that is being built from people that landed on the sales page of the t-shirt okay it's gonna be the age 21 to any it's gonna be the full range because this custom audience has already the people in it that landed it doesn't matter we don't put any filters on it it's, in fact we want to have it from the bottom till the max so that it takes it doesn't filter the custom audience by age no you want the full custom audience because all those people have clicked through and have checked out the sales page of the t-shirt then the next thing you're gonna do is right here you're just gonna go from this okay we have this entirely we have all the genders we have everything we took away the precise interests and then you're gonna go to optimization make sure it's still on optimized CPM which optimized for engagement because it took the uh, it took the same um, the same um, characteristics from the one we duplicated from which it was and the only thing you gotta change is what it targets which is the custom audience and we wanna change the post we're choosing and the retarget and the URL tag everything else is fine okay then from there the only thing you're gonna do is upload changes once you upload the changes it's gonna add that ad and that new ad set to the same campaign and right there it's gonna show up if we now refresh it's gonna show up the second one I had this first one created so here's the second one and inside that one there is the retargeting ad surfer that we just created with this ad copy and targeting the custom audience this one you want to leave it running with 20 bucks so at the same time and check it out and always do the monitoring do the exact same thing I've taught you in the other videos just that this ad is gonna run at the same time you're running the other ad okay the main ad that is reaching the new audience the audience you're targeting it's going to be it's going to be reached with the main ad and the retargeting ad is going to reach the people that have landed on the page but didn't buy so you want to leave this these two running at the same time and you want to set up this on a twenty dollar budget as well for the first time okay twenty dollars and after the twenty dollars went through you want to monitor that specific ad as well and see how people are uh, clicking through and you want to see and apply the same same exact uh, way of monitoring as I taught you in the monitoring video uh, you want to also monitor the analytics page to see which ones are if there are coming sales from the variable retargeting that we set up uh, just the one that we did right there uh, the retargeting um, the URL tag right this right that we set up to retargeting instead of uh, interest whatever I showed you in the earlier video this one is going to be retargeting so it shows retargeting sales is coming from retargeting and you also of course inside of each retargeting ad you're also going to have the ability of the reports as I showed you in the optimization one okay good and once that is done you go back into the teespring into that specific campaign that we've been working on in this case as we already set up the retargeting ad now you're gonna go into the main ad and you're gonna click on on the main ad set which is for the which has the main ad within it you're gonna click on view ad and then right here you see it's targeting its surfing interest etc etc but we're gonna do we have to do something uh, very important here and it's that is exclude the audience the retargeting audience we don't want to be showing to the retargeting audience the retargeting ad plus the initial ad we just want to show them the retargeting ad and that's why what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in teespring and here the retargeting audience and once you do that as well you're just gonna basically 
leave everything just as it is. It's targeting the interests. It has its age range, optimized age range, and it has an excluded audience, which is the retargeting audience. Everything else is exactly the same thing. It has its own uh, image page post ad, which is the public one that with it on the fan page, but it has its own URL tag, just as normal. And the only thing it has now is it's excluding the, uh, the uh, retargeting audience, okay? We don't wanna be, as I said, we don't wanna be showing the ad to uh, retargeting audience, uh, both ads to the same retargeting audience. We wanna show them of the retargeting audience, just the retargeting ad and the rest of the people, just uh, the initial ad, okay? So that's it. So from there, uh, make sure you apply this right away and uh, start creating your ads using the templates we give you on the, uh, uh, on the uh, PSD files. I don't know if you grab them uh, again, make sure you do. Highly recommend it to really get done. This system has to be done fast and has to be productive and you gotta be producing, getting out uh, t-shirts out of the door every single day in order to make it happen. You gotta go for scalable concepts and in scalable concepts, you wanna have a system, good resources, and good teams and people in place. So, and this is what I'm giving you here. I'm giving you the templates for all the ads and the entire system. So make sure you apply it and have fun, enjoy it, and uh, let's see you in the next video.